fewer and fewer cases are going to trial. And as a result, it's harder and harder to get the trial experience that you need to become a very good trial lawyer. One of the things you can do to obtain that experience uh, is volunteer. Have your name put on the list of volunteer attorneys willing to accept pro bono appointments for prisoner cases, particularly the federal courts, which see a great number of uh, 1983 prisoner condition cases, uh, are looking for attorneys to handle some of these cases either from the beginning or after they've gone past summary judgment. Some of the cases are very simple. They can amount to a one-day trial with a limited appointment that avoids a lot of discovery issues. You can gain the opportunity and the experience of not only conducting a pretrial with a judge, preparing jury instructions, giving an opening statement, doing a direct examination, a cross-examination of several witnesses, and then doing a jury instruction conference at the end of the trial, giving a closing argument and ending up with a verdict in a case. Now this is of great benefit. I think you can even get CLE credit sometimes from this. And it allows you to tell your clients that no, you're not, this isn't your first trial. In fact, you can rack up a number of trials and become proficient at the very skills that are essential to be a successful trial lawyer. And at the same time, make a, uh, a very important contribution to our system of justice by accepting a case and helping the court resolve a dispute that needs, it will benefit from the, from the presence of an attorney and will assure everyone that, that justice is done in this particular case. They should contact the pro se staff attorneys in the Eastern District of Wisconsin if they just call the clerk's office or you can go to the website. The next time a case comes up and their turn comes on the list, they'll contact the attorney. Now the attorney doesn't have to take any case. They're free to, to and, and they can take a limited appointment if, if their financial circumstances prevent them from taking a case all the way through from the beginning to the end. And the limited appointments in particular would be valuable for young attorneys. The other thing though that the, that the um, pro bono program in Wisconsin at the Eastern District of Wisconsin will help with is any expenses you have. For example, if you have to drive to the prison, if you need to take some depositions, we have a pro bono fund that can reimburse the attorney for those expenses. We're even trying to uh, find ways to recruit experts in those cases where an expert witness might be necessary. But in the more simple cases, it's often not a case that requires expert testimony. It will essentially come down to a factual dispute that lends itself perfectly to the kind of limited representation which will give a young attorney a vast experience and at the same time uh, help to resolve a dispute that would be much more difficult without providing counsel for, a, for an indigent prisoner.